It's Cloud Talker! I've been out here so long. It's Cloud Talker! And I've been out here so long. I don't even know what time of day it is. Today, I'm going to be showing you how my father taught me to set a rabbit slip. Setting rabbit slips. Yes. Yes, a rabbit snare. You gotta watch your eyes. Following my dog. Where's the rabbits at, girl? Where's the rabbits? There's my old shelter. Camp Twisted Tree. Dog found some tracks. We're looking at real fresh rabbit tracks here. Okay. And they're going right through. Great spot for a snare. Right in there. I, this is how I like to set a snare. We got some rabbit wire here. I take the snare wire, then you bend it over on itself. And you keep bending it, and that bend will heat up. You don't need any other tools. So then, I like to get a little stick or something like this and just make two loops. You wrap it around once, wrap it around twice, and then just twist. Just make sure you got something that's good and tight. Wrap it around once. Wrap it around twice. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna get supper right through so it looks like this. Until it looks like that. Hopefully we'll catch something, girl. Oh yeah, this is what I did when I was a boy. It's a fire ant, a little lightweight stove. The only setback is, is you need to put it together with cold hands. Come on now. There. Anything? 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 We got a nugget. Look at that color. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that color. Birch bark. Let me just stuff it down in here. Stogger full, laddie. Stogger full. Full, laddie. Just enough coals in there to make a good brew. Good enough for me. It's hot. Keep it hot. Yes. 
get mighty hungry and you burn a lot of calories. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Oh, hopping down the bunny trail. It's Cloud Talker. That's sure. That's sharp. Very, very sharp. Very sharp. Very sharp indeed. Easy, easy now. And I don't want to fall down there. It's important to check your traps, no matter what the weather's doing. If you set them, you check them. And there's nothing today. Nothing but pouring rain. Pouring rain. It all looks the same. It all looks the same. One thing that I really like about the rain It helps you find direction, makes it easy. You always know what weighs up and what weighs down. Down. That's all right. I can wait. I can wait. And that's why it's important to check your traps every day. It's Cloud Talker, and another good tip for training your hands and grip strength is practice climbing, or you can practice climbing a tree, especially on a wet day. Now, to train like a ranger, you need to first of all, make a seat in the woods. Now take your time and find a comfy spot, because you'll be positioned there all day. Don't make a sound. If you have to move and stretch your legs, remember, Try your best to remain silent. 
Now that's the easy part. You also, you also have to carry a big stick. And you keep that stick in your hand, keep it off the ground, and you don't put that stick down if you need to go squat. Take it with you. Don't let go of the stick. Don't let it touch the ground or you fail. You're out. Don't make a sound. Not a bit. Don't make unnecessary noise. So remember, if you're going to train like a ranger, spend a full day in the woods, find a good seat, find a good stick, keep it in hand, keep it off the ground, and just enjoy the day. Oh, the patience of a hunter. There's nothing like it. Easy now. Look after this stick. There's nothing like it. Yes. A hearty breakfast blend of twigs and berries. Tastes a little bit like could use some salt. A pinch of salt would be nice. Yes. Yeah. Could use some salt. That's why it's important to mark your traps. Damn it! Mark your traps. Remember, mark your traps. I'll just put it in the ice. I'll let my ankle cool down. Yes, let it cool down. It'll be good as new. It'll be good as new.
cloud talker. I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to use enough salt. I'm going to use enough salt this time. A little bit of Montreal steak spice. Get it all in there. Oh yeah. That smells good, doesn't it? That smells good. Rub it off. Like I said before, whoever holds the meat stick holds the power. nice to have some fat to put on that, but I don't. Season to perfection. Look at that. Rabbit jerky. It's cooked good. Watch these rabbit bones. Okay. That is a nice piece of meat right there. That is a very nutritious piece of meat right there.
Look at that. Mm -mm. It's like rabbit jerky. Nice and hot. All oh, the salt did the trick. That is some juicy. Rabbit's definitely got its own taste. Wow. That inside meat is so tender. A lot of tendons in this meat, but... When it's cooked properly, it's just like, it's just like beef. Good girl. Yeah. Wow, now that is a prime piece of meat right there, you can have it. Try some of the back strap. Wow. Some tendons there. <laughs> I got some sinew from the rabbit. Anuk, get back. Go! Go on! All the power is lost when no one's watching the meat stick. And I'm tying the hide to the meat stick. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Yes, look at that. 
Look at that beautiful piece of meat. Colonel Sanders would be very proud. Yes. I got a biscuit here, too. Save the rest of that for tomorrow. Remember to be kind, so be kind, and I mean, wouldn't you eat an apple? <laughs>